to to um, to be here. They don't seem to have a real fixed purpose in the sense for for society, but it's it's, it's like they're keeping the the message alive, and they may inspire a lot of people to 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 find a way a way to a uh, higher consciousness. They may be an inspiration source for others. Um, yeah, I think um, he's even mentioning a percentage of, of people, uh, the millions of them, probably all over the globe. And uh, I think they are aware on some level that they have a mission. They probably volunteered for it. And um, yeah, just I, I would refer to them as an inspiration source to, 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 to let people flock together to... Uh, to more insights and, and to, to get into the memory bank. You say that the wanderers volunteer to come here. Do we actively choose to incarnate here on Earth? Well, I think it's a planet of free will, so I think on, uh, on a deeper level, yes, it's, we're volunteering. And uh, many people are saying, well, if I've made that choice, why the hell did I make it? You know, what, what yeah. would your advice be to them? Uh, figure it out, because you can, you can get access to it. I mean, if that's a question that's really bothering someone, you can gain insight. Uh, it's, it's like if you start in the middle of a book, it may be helpful to, to read a previous chapter, to know what, uh, what the relation is. Yeah. Figure it out, I would say. Yeah. Figuring out your life's purpose, I think, is the most important thing you can do. So many people get stuck in this dimension and for whatever reason have we, we've not been able to access our past life experiences um, naturally um, yeah. for whatever reason. There may be many reasons for that. Uh, uh, there are quite a few kids, they are aware of something like a past life. Maybe they don't know that that's uh, what it's called. It may be for different reasons. Um, if a child starts talking about it, uh, like... Uh, uh, when I was young, yeah, a child will say, and it, it also depends on the parents how they are um, calling it just uh, don't kid us, uh, you're, it's just a fantasy, things like that, you're making up stories, don't do this again. It's, it's also a way if the parents are inviting the child to speak out and they may sometimes do it just like in a trance and then they tell it and then okay, it's fine and they move on to the next subject. So, at some point there is a feel, I'm even thinking sometimes that the vaccinations may have to do with it, that it's shutting down parts. You know, I'm, it's amazing that you said this, because uh, obviously we're campaigning very hard um, against the vaccinations. Um, yes, me too. And uh, let me, <laughs> that's, that's great, of course, we, you know, this little network is doing great work in that respect to raise awareness. Yeah. But um, something in my research that I've come across, which I can absolutely 100% confirm, um, I don't know if you're aware of a gentleman called Credo Mutua. Oh yes, he's yes. Uh, the African shaman. Yes, yes. The Zulus. I'm, I'm yeah. South African. He he grew. He's from my hometown. Okay. So um, basically, he actually said that his kids, when he had children, what he used to do is he used to take rice grains and push them into the arm to make scars that look like the vaccination because they used to be in a little round circle of dots. Uh -huh. And he okay. said because he found that the children that had been vaccinated could not see UFOs and had absolutely no awareness of spiritual entities around them, yes. okay, and had no past life memory. Isn't that interesting? Now, it's, this is a Zulu shaman who's had probably no formal education, okay, and he is already aware of this. Well, I think this is, uh, yeah, this, this, this might just be the case, and that may ju just be a reason why they vaccinate children so many times. Um, I think it... Um, it has different purposes and this may be one of the purposes because what you're experiencing now is um, there is an awakening going on and why do they so desperately want all these kids to have vaccinated so many times instead of uh, building up their own immune system and I think there are so many natural ways to, to, um, to do this that people have not a clue what it's about. 
So do you think that there is actually an agenda on to suppress us from remembering our past lives with these vaccinations? And why? What, what well, would I, that do for us? I would actually say to keep people um, uh, in a state of mind or being uh, that is like, it's like a shutdown. I think that it's, it's basically a shutdown. I think also people, uh, I'm, I don't know about everyone because I, I haven't done research on that in other countries. Uh, maybe some among the native people. I don't know if they are born seeing aura, seeing uh, seeing other things. Um, I, I don't have scientific data studied for about these things, but I know for more or less for sure that um, it's like an inner knowing. The awakening that's going on, they want to suppress it. Because more and more people are experiencing more and more things, even UFO sightings and things like that. And I just have a very, very strong gut feeling that all the vaccinations um, are closing down um, the, um, the lanes that are being opened, or that could be opened. <clears throat> It's like what we call the junk DNA. Yeah. yeah. Um, actually, I think it's cosmic DNA. And that should can be activated. It's actually happening right now. Many people suddenly began to see auras. I experienced it myself recently. Suddenly, I could see it. Um, people will have um, becoming much more perceptive. perceptive. It is opening up. I've seen many people around me who are going through a similar process. And... These are also people, they don't, they don't want this vaccine stuff at all. I'm, I'm not saying you can prove this, but this is just inner, inner gut feeling, intuition, whatever you call it. I think it can be proven on a scientific base. Because these vaccine stuffs, they, what it does, 